Hello and welcome to Every Woman. I'm Shuli Ghosh. This week, we take a look at the lives of women in Japan. It's a society where wives have long been subservient to their husbands, but many young Japanese women are now choosing to delay marriage, and many older women are choosing divorce. We explore the culture shift and ask, how is the role of women changing, and where will it lead? Japan is a patriarchal, conservative society where traditionally women have taken second place to their husbands, but not anymore. In fact, where women are concerned, the country is seeing some of the biggest social shifts in the world. For the first time, a quarter of all Japanese women aged 30 to 35 are unmarried, a huge change in a society where marriage was once viewed as an obligation. And Japan's middle-aged women are changing their lives too, with the rate of divorce for over 45s the highest in Japan. So what does all this mean for Japanese society? Well, I'm joined by Professor Sumiko Iwa, author, academic and women's activist, and by Kaori Shoji, a writer for Japan Times and the International Herald Tribune. Ladies, thank you very much for joining me here in the studio. Sumiko, can I come to you first and ask, uh, how has Japanese society changed? Put it into context for us. Well, for example, that my generation, that almost all my classmates were married, got married, as you said. And, uh, but if I look at my students, uh, they are, most of them are not married by age 30. And, so, and then an uh, increasing number of women are in the labor force. So they are economically independent, and they are putting, if they get married, if they are putting off their having uh, children and then if they had any children they had just one or two at most. Carrie I know that you're a working mother um, does the way do the, the, does the way women see themselves in Japan has that changed they're becoming more independent more economically uh, independent? Yes they're very aware of that their their newfound power and their their new position um, I think it's the first time in in Japanese history that women has women have had so much confidence in themselves um, because of their new economic power well one of the things uh, that I mentioned earlier was uh, the factor of divorce what's behind the sudden surge in divorces among older Japanese women well many attribute it to a phenomenon known as retired husband syndrome a stress related condition brought on by men spending too much time at home and bullying their wives women suffer symptoms like rashes and migraines for no apparent reason but while some wives opt for divorce others take a more creative route as Julian Ong discovered When my husband came home after retiring, he naturally couldn't look after himself at all. No wonder, his life was all about working for his company. I used to fill my daytime socializing and enjoying several hobbies while my husband was out at work. Then suddenly, my husband is home every day. My biggest concern was lunchtime. I had to prepare two meals for him when I was going to be out all day. Then, gradually, it became a pain for me to go out. My husband spent all his days watching TV, especially Japanese samurai dramas. For a few months, I left him to do as he liked. But after a while, I started worrying about him. What will become of us if he doesn't change? Nobuko Kotake is a housewife whose ex-banker husband retired six years ago. Her story is typical of many Japanese housewives. Japan is becoming an aging society as the baby boomer generation approaches retirement age. This is a generation whose men spent most of their waking hours at work, contributing to Japan's rapid post-war economic growth. But with retirement, they're spending more time at home, and this is when trouble begins. Often, 
It is so annoying. My husband follows me around like a lost puppy. It is very stressful. I have to do everything at home. He orders me around, shouting, dinner, tea. Many women come to seek advice from this controversial author, Sayako Nishida. The running theme of her books is about the suffering women have to endure because of their retired husbands. Many of her readers and participants of her workshops are wives of retired husbands who are experiencing difficulties at home. A doctor calls it retired husband syndrome. It starts with symptoms of depression and then insomnia. But women don't realize the cause of their illness is directly coming from their housebound husbands. In worst cases, women develop Bell's palsy and stomach cancer. Pressured by his wife, Tomohisa Kotake started taking cookery lessons. Men in the kitchen is set up for the purpose of training retired men to be more independent at home. The men will learn not only cooking skills, but also everything from shopping to clearing up after themselves. It tastes better when he helps me to cook. He's especially good at grilling fish. Well, I'm glad he's learned some new skills, but it's astonishing quite how hopeless some retired husbands are. What do you think about this retired husband syndrome? Is it, is it a common thing? Uh, well, it's... Uh, I would say that it's common among those who are over 70, but you know, baby boomers who are around 60 now, who are retiring uh, currently, new retirees, I think that uh, they learned very quickly that the, uh, some of the very uh, nasty names that are given to these retired husbands by women, like you know, that, that this lady was talking about that the husband is like puppy, following her everywhere, and that's being called take me with you horror. <laughs> I gather they call these kind of husbands uh, fallen wet leaves, I think well, it, it yes. translates and as that. And then before that was oversized trash. But <laughs> you see, Japan is a very information, a very much information society that everybody reads papers and, you know, watch television. So these uh, news get around very quickly so that we can learn and transform uh, very quickly from other people's mistakes. And, so and one of the, the consequences of that is that older women are more prepared to get divorced, aren't they? Well, you know, I have to correct that because uh, the largest number of people who get divorced are still young people. I but mean, the rate of divorce less than five years. is increasing, isn't it? The rate of divorce amongst older Japanese women is actually increasing quite yes, fast. Yes, that's the highest increasing group is middle or older group. But uh, you mentioned about new law which started this uh, April. Yes, I, I wanted to ask about that because mm -hmm. the, the law now says that women are entitled to half their husband's pension if they get divorced. Has that resulted in a surge of divorces? Um, I think that women have been taking half of their husband's pensions, whether the law kicked in or not. I think that was the case from about 10 years ago. I mean, um, just when that phrase, falling wet leaves, um, was being bandied about, women had been doing that anyway, law or no law. It's just that now that it, it's, uh, it's official, it's mandated by law, they feel more entitled. There's a sense of, you know, self-deserving, self-entitlement, and I think that's that's has changed the uh, mindset. And it's more in independence as well. Yeah, that yes. that th these group of women are wanting to be more independent. I mean, how much is, uh, is that phenomenon down to um, the kind of corporate? culture that we know about Japan, that these men are working long hours, they're away from home um, 15, 16 hours every day, and then suddenly they're at home doing not very much. I mean, how much is it down to that sort of corporate lifestyle? I think it, most of it is attributed to that particular corporate lifestyle. But as um, Dr. Ewell pointed out, we're a very information-oriented society, and um, now we're so aware of how the rest of the world views Japan and, and this particular very weird corporate culture that, that um, only um, 
is, is seen in, in our country, and I think people are more aware of that and are trying to change that, at least, let's say, under 40, the population segment under 40. They're, they're more aware of how they're seen in the world, and they're more willing to change that corporate culture. And one of the other factors which is fascinating about uh, Japanese society is that people are living a lot longer. So is there a prospect of an, an aging society where there are more older divorced women in society? I mean, is, is that one of the possibilities? If they are getting divorced at the age of 50, certainly they'll live for another 30 years or more. So they might look for a new partner. But that is one option. And the other is that they sort of uh, strengthen their bondage with other friends, uh, networks with uh, friends, and they tend to do things together and yeah, enjoy. And it's, so it's a great change, though, isn't it? Because we, as we said right at the beginning of this program, there was a time, even a generation ago, where women were expected to be subservient to their mm -hmm. husbands, to be uncomplaining, and to meet all their needs. And that does, that seems to be changing very much, don't you think? It's true that they were expected to follow their husband's orders, etc. But at the same time, women had always held the purse strings in the house. And <laughs> they, had, they were the ones doling out the allowances to their husbands. So when you look at the, um, the balance of power, it's not that imbalanced. After all, it had never been that much imbalanced. Okay, well, we're going to take a short break now. When we come back, we'll be discussing how all of these factors affect the younger generation of women.